starting at $199,999. So you're just over 200 when you factor in home site and a couple of option items that they have. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, one car garage, townhome, a little over 1,400 square feet. You can see it's got a little, nice little porch area here. And when you come in the front door, you got tile floors all in your main living area and the stairs right here to head upstairs to the bedrooms, but we'll check out the first floor first here. So this door to our left is the under stair storage closet. It goes all the way back there. It's uh, in our house that is referred to as the Harry Potter closet. And then here you've got your half bath. Nice little pedestal sink. And of course the decorator, this is a model home, so the decorator stuff will not come with it, like the wallpaper and the extra little trim work on the walls and all that. But basically everything else that you see, granite countertops, but that is quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, cabinets and all that that you're gonna see will all come with it. Here's your one car garage. hurricane resistant garage door. It's not much more than a typical garage. Uh, they did build a little alcove in here to tuck your water heater in out of the way. But that is out here in the garage as well. And all your hurricane protection is out here also. So it does come with hurricane shutters on the home. And so the big difference, Really, this one's a little over 1,400. The other one's about 1,350 square feet. A big difference is the layout here in the main living area and the fact that this is the end unit. So it gets the windows on the sides. So you get a little bit more natural light in this one. But here's your kitchen. Nice shaker style cabinets. Popular door hardware. Like I said, the quartz countertops, all stainless appliances. And the way they've got this laid out is with the dining room area over there and the family room here. Uh, a lot of people might set this up as just a big great room and just use the breakfast bar as their eating area. Uh, and then you do have a little concrete patio out back here. There is HOA approval if you wanted to put up a fence in between the patios you are allowed to do that. So I'll give you a little privacy there. And then you've got your pantry here. So nice size pantry. And now we'll take a look upstairs. Again, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, one car garage. They do have some quick move in inventory of these that are available. And so, like I said, you're a little bit over two typically, but with the quick move in inventory items, there are some specials. So we may be able to do something a little bit better than that on those. Well, let's take a look at the bedrooms. So this closet here, with the grate in the door first is the uh, air handler for the air conditioner. And so this is the owner suite. Nice size bedroom, got a couple of windows there. King size bed, a 
corners bath. You still got the double vanities, and this has got the cultured marble countertops, same shaker cabinets and everything. And the throne room. And a nice walk-in shower, or not walk-in shower, but stand-up shower. No tub, but tile shower walls, fiberglass floor pan. Let's take a look at the closet here. And a nice size walk-in closet with a window. It's nice to let some natural light in there. It helps to keep things uh, a little bit drier and less likely for mold to grow, which happens especially if you're using this as a part-time residence and that door gets left shut. Uh, another big difference between this floor plan and the Bennett next door, which we will look at in another video, is your washer and dryer is upstairs in this one, where the bedrooms are. The other one, the washer and dryer is downstairs. So something to keep in mind for those that have to do the laundry. So here's one of your extra bedrooms, whether it be a kid's bedroom or guest bedroom. These are at the back of the home where the master or owner suite is at the front of the home. Got a linen closet here. So they are split bedrooms in terms of owner suite being at the front, kids or guest bedrooms being at the back. Here's your secondary room or third room, I should say. Any secondary bath. Again, now this one has a tub shower combo, tile shower walls. And that's it. So again, this is the Avery floor plan. The townhouses here in Portico. This one starts at 199 999 uh, The HOA fees on these are 317 a month, and that includes all exterior maintenance. It includes insurance on the building, roof repair and replacement and everything, which is really nice. A lot of times the townhouses, you're still responsible for a lot of that stuff. And this is one of the few where it truly lives like a condo in terms of zero maintenance for you as the owner, but very low fees. So 317 a month, including all of your exterior maintenance, your homeowner's insurance, lawn maintenance, all the amenities and everything that comes with it. And if you wanna check out the amenities down at the bottom, you should see down below the video, you should see a link to the community tour of all the amenities, as well as links to the other floor plans, the single family homes and the Bennett floor plan of the townhouse. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.